know everyone. We're staring at the ceiling now. Are you on your own, or is your wife with you? Yes. I can show you the town if you want. No. I get off work at six. Okay, then. Thanks, Bruce. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I do oh. it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Okay, hopefully no copyright. Oh yeah. Lady, what's your problem? Hey, you okay? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Oh, uh, that's creepy. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Creeper! Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah, I'm sure that's why it's got the name Cauldron in it. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarek. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I think we're good to go. Bye, Mr. Wake. Yes. Cool. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Whoa, wait, that, that was... That was a real nut house. <laughs> that was Stucky. That was the guy Can we were supposed to meet. This, please? this would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. I'll give it that. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. 
Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Yeah, so cute and quaint, also super creepy. Just gonna, just gonna, like the house? Okay, if I showed up here and I was like, oh wow, that looks really nice. But I'm in the middle of a freaking lake. Actually, it's kind of peaceful. They're gonna make it, like, so horrible though, I'm sure. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's yeah, but... dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? What? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Huh. Oh, yeah, another thermos. Uh, I wish probably not going to be in the basement. Or, I mean, I figured the power building was not upstairs. Oh, oh that's cute. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Yeah, it was. So... Whoa! Not the 60s, the 70s, apparently. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> what the... Well then, huh. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. That's also creepy. Okay, fuse box, generator. No, that's a dock. That's not gonna work. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Sure, nothing creepy about this shed. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Generators should move that much. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know about and should they be spouting smoke like that? Holy crap. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Oh God, why does, why does he say thought? Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Wait, then why are the lights on? Okay, I'm still rattling off. What do we have here? I can walk on it. Fuck you. Storage area. Yeah, take that. Ah. 
Why do I feel like the lights are gonna go out here? Alice? Honey? Uh oh. What was she making? Nothing! Damn it. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. Ooh. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Lame. Surprise. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! Shh. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not- oh. Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Shit. Damn it. And power out. Alice? gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! Oh, it's all right! Shit. I'm coming! No! What the Alan, hell? Help me! Sure, girl. from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. What? Um, okay. So, crash car and stuff. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Why did 